Guys, this is the Stuff of Legends, the vacuum set extraordinaire. Now, it's not the true blue set. We already looked at that. This is the Appian set. This is a rapid evac set sold by True Tech Tools. And what I did is I have one of my organizers here. I actually got this at like Dollar General or something. Because that's the kind of guy I am. White trash, baby. Dollar General. The Dollar Tree. They actually send with their set. Uh-oh. We had this discussion the other day, and look at here, there's Nylog, so let's debate that. Why is there Nylog in a set like this if you're not supposed to use Nylog? Uh, uh, uh. Anyway, we can debate that later. Have a nice little coupling there, just like you see on the blue vac gauges. Have a T, looks like it's half inch to three eighths on both sides. A couple of caps, and then plugs for all the hoses on this side. So we have some more stuff in this set. So it'd be really cool if we could fit all that stuff maybe into this box. So what I was thinking is we give that a try real quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our nylog, put it right here. All the smaller pieces can fit in here. We have some plugs. In fact, we can put all the plugs in one slot just to keep it more organized. There we are. Then I have something from my bait and tackle now. Actually, the bait and tackle section of like Dick's or Walmart or something like that. That's a pretty good place to find good tool organizers, in my opinion. Let's say we put them in there like that. Then we have room for our connector hoses too, right here. And maybe even our valve core removal tools. So let's check that out real quick. I'll move this out of the way for a second. We have our Blue Vac Micro, the Appian, let's see the MGA VCT quarter inch valve core removal tool. Now my opinion is these are the best. I love these more than any other valve core removal tool. But I haven't really used the True Blue ones, the AccuTools ones. And we're gonna compare, as you see right here, we have a vacuum pump. This is the Yellow Jacket Super Evac 6 CFM. We're gonna test some of the vacuum ratings on these tools. Meaning we're gonna put them into a vacuum and see how low it goes, basically. So the lower it goes, the better the tool must be. I'm gonna try to get some more tools besides the two that I have. I might try to locate some of my old ones, but I actually had Appian too. So I don't know if I have any others, but maybe I'd get like a Hillmore one because they explode. If you watch Steven Raritan's video, that thing exploded, but I was under pressure. Which we might do as well. Put some nitrogen pressure on it with a pressure gauge and check it that way as well. So let's take it out. A little bit of literature there. You have some replacement O-rings. And this could easily go right here. The replacement O-rings could easily go anywhere in here. Let's put them in their own spot. There's some literature here, which you can read. I don't think you'll be putting it in the case or anything. Some other things like instructions. Let's see what we have here. The assembly part of it might be pretty useful. So maybe that will go in there, put it with these. But you only need one of them, because we have two of these. We have two of these, so let's go ahead and take the second one out. And see, this all fits right here. We could probably find a better way to do this, but I had this on hand, so I figured I'd take a look at it. And it looks like we could even take the Blue Vag Micro out and put it on this side, or this side, perhaps. So let's go ahead and take that out and see what comes in this case. This is the Blue Vag Plus Micro Wireless Vacuum Gauge. It does have Bluetooth. As you can see, it's slightly different than the previous model. I think the color is slightly different. And you can see the app on the back where you can do the trending and the decay test and all that stuff. So let's open her up too. It's exciting. So we have another coupler we can put right down here. The blue vac itself, there's a couple batteries I'll put in it later. They can go on either side right here. It does have a case, but if I put it in here, I probably won't use the case. We'll save that for the giveaway because I'm giving all this stuff away. We'll save it for you guys if you want to use it that way. That was brutal. Almost killed myself. I actually cut myself trying to take batteries out. I'm turning into a puss. Now let's take a look at these hoses over here. We have two hoses with this set. I'm gonna use the official HVAC Shop Talks. They're for men. It's 2018, guys, come on. All right, looks like this is a five or six foot hose. One quarter inch on one end, three eighths on the other end. Let's confirm that. 
three eighths on the other end. Take this plug out. I like these plugs. I probably keep those too in this set. If you want to use the brass ones, I guess that's fine. Yep, three eighths. So it come off the T. Do a little mock up here. So say you want to take both of these hoses to the top of the pump. So you have this T right here. Since the pump has a three eighths, you have this short section that has three eighths on one side, half inch on the other side. It'll go into this T. And you just put that right into the top of the pump. The other hose comes off and runs to the system. So it works pretty cool. I mean, I've always wanted stuff like this, but back in the day when I was coming up, there was so much stuff going on, I could never afford it. So it's kind of ironic that I'm sitting here playing with it now, about to give it to you guys. But it's also really fun and cool. So this is what they call a refrigerant transfer hose. I'd never heard that until the True Blue hoses came out and everybody starts calling these refrigerant transfer hoses now instead of vacuum hoses. I think I'm going to still call them vacuum hoses because that's what the intention is. Let's see what it says on the vacuum certified refrigerant hose, maximum working pressure 640 PSI, burst pressure of 3200 PSI, R12, R134, 22, 404, 410A, Appian made in the USA. So very nice. So there's two of these hoses too. One of the first tests that I want to do is maybe test out the valve core removal tools. Then we can get on to testing the hose, hose versus hose. We can put all the hoses together. I think we can create that little T fitting, go into the vacuum pump, maybe come around to a core remover. I don't know, take the side off. We can put one end of the hose on here, one of the quarter inch ends of these hose, the other end on here, and I can screw the micro and gauge right into it. We can test the whole rig at one time. If you guys have a better idea for this stuff, Make sure you write it, and don't write it in the live chat, write it in the comment after the video so I can see it and remember. But we can test rig versus rig. I'm pretty excited about this because True Blue is hot right now. They're hot, everybody's excited about it, but these are like the old favorites. And I say old, it's only been a few years we've really been all wrapped up in this stuff. You go back 10 years or so and a lot of our guys don't even know what these are. Don't use any dedicated vacuum hoses. I'll show you the vacuum hoses we would've used 10 years ago. Here are the vacuum hoses from 10 years ago. That's exactly what we'd be using. Except they wouldn't look new like this. They'd be all beat to hell. All the gaskets would be shredded from us torquing them down too far. That's what our vacuum hoses would be. So we'll probably have to test one of these sets too. As you see, I have some of my connectors on them because these hoses that came with the P51 870s from Yellow Jacket didn't have any shutoffs or anything and I always like shutoffs. I don't like low loss fittings. I like the ball valve shutoffs, so I put those on everything. I actually prefer the shorter ones, but you know, these are okay too. I want to say these are probably NRP, but I'm, I'm not sure. All right, guys, I'm gonna get back to the show now. I just want to give you a look at what we're going to be doing here soon. I want some ideas from you guys, what we can test and ideas for the future as well. It goes beyond this point. I mean, we have some cool stuff here. Maybe, maybe we have some cool stuff down here too. If you can see that. Yes, yes. But I'm gonna need your help. I need to figure out what's the best thing to do. What do you guys want to see? HVAC and the surrounding skilled trades. I mean, we did a review of a drill. You're going to see tomorrow evening the HyperTough drill. And even though it is the HyperTough drill from Walmart, I'd love it if you guys would watch it. Let me know what you think of the review itself. Do you think I did a good job? Did I miss anything? I'm sure I missed something because there's always something to miss, I guess. So I want to know what you want to see. In a review like that, I know there's always another step I could take it. I could fling it off a building. I was really close to flinging it off the top of the studio. But I didn't want to break it because I wanted to give it away. And plus, I didn't want to do anything that wouldn't be not like a job setting. I was going to drop it off a ladder or something like that. But I don't know. I could do that, I guess. But any ideas that you guys have, I would love to know, guys. Because that's why we're all here. I want to do something that you guys want to see. I feel like this is something we definitely want to see, though. This is going to be awesome. So stick around for a whole bunch of different tests with this stuff. And now I'll let you get back to the show.